Well, it was predicted that this movie wasn't going to do very well at the box office, and that seems to have come true. Uh, Disney's Strange World set to lose $100 million in theatrical run. Of course, we all know, if we've been paying attention to these type of things, that uh, Strange World is Disney's most woke movie to date. Uh, featuring a same-sex couple who happen to be teenage boys, an interracial couple, which I, I that whatever that yeah, you know, some people might see that as being woke. Uh, of course, it is true that if you watch uh, any network TV and uh, happen to notice their commercials nowadays. You will notice that almost every single couple in these commercials is an interracial couple, uh, which is just strange to me. Uh, you can either make it black or white. And also, uh, this movie is an allegory for climate change. If we take a look at the box office on this uh, movie... You can see that it's made $18 million domestic and $9.2 million international for a total of 27000 And that's on a budget, an alleged budget of $185 million, which is, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. And there, I think they're being conservative to say, that it's going to lose only a hundred million because uh, that's them obviously thinking that it's going to end up making more money on its first day. It made 4 million Thanksgiving day, which is, is traditionally a day that a lot of people go to the movies. Uh, it only made uh, $2.5 million. And, and that was uh that was on Thanksgiving, Friday, Black Friday, made five. Saturday, it made four. And then Sunday, again, it made two. So things aren't looking good. This is the opening weekend for this movie. And uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be able to make that money. Disney Strange World bombed at the box office over Thanksgiving, leaving the studio to mop up oceans, mountains, and and terrains of red ink. And uh, like I said, it's Disney's most woke movie to date, featuring the, the, the gay teens, the gay teenage boys, climate change. It's just basically, uh, look at us, look at what we're doing. You see on Rotten Tomatoes, uh, it's got a 60% audience score, which is, uh, has actually gotten better. 500 plus verified ratings. And that's a 74% critic score, uh, which is not, not good for a Disney movie because critics usually, uh, usually fall over themselves to give Disney movies a good rating strange world is a disney milestone in terms of representation but as a storytelling experience this dazzlingly animated adventure offers little audiences haven't already seen so it's not looking good for uh disney on this one a hundred million dollars even if it is a hundred million, which to me, it seems like it's, it's going to be more. And it, this is just, uh, the, the movie's budget it has nothing to do with any type of advertising or anything else promotion that, uh, Disney put into it, which I didn't see a lot for it. I didn't see much advertisement at all. As a matter of fact, I hadn't even heard of it until people started talking about it online. So it's kind of weird that they would make this movie with all its representation and, and everything else and uh, then choose not to promote it. <laughs> Almost like they're ashamed of it. 
Let's take a quick look at Black Panther. Worldwide, it has made $675 million, which is a, just a little over what it needed to make to break even uh, when you factor in all of the promotional, uh, when you factor in uh, the promotional costs and advertising costs and everything else. Uh, it's, uh, it's just now broken even at $675 million. I don't know what Black Panther, the first Black Panther had done in, uh, the, the second week of its release, but it was, it was definitely, it was up there cause it made over a billion dollars. This movie is not, they didn't, they don't think this movie is even going to be close to a billion and, uh. Like I said, this is its second weekend, and it was a holiday weekend, and uh, there wasn't a huge push to go see it. So, let's see what it did on, uh, let's see, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, be, no, they're not showing, where is it? Oh, there it is, ha, Thanksgiving, <laughs> Thanksgiving Day made $8.1 million. Uh, Wednesday, it made even more. It made $10 million. And then uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday, $18 and $17 million respectively. And Sunday, $10 million. So it's definitely winding down. People that have seen it uh, are not going back to see it. And uh, people that haven't seen it probably aren't going to be seeing it. So uh, that's another, that's more bad news for Disney. Seeing uh, the fact that that uh, Black Panther just barely broke even. Of course, uh, a lot of things are going on over there at the House of Mouse with uh, Iger coming back and replacing Chapek. And uh, now... There's rumors out there that Iger plans on selling the company to Apple, which that'll just be, <laughs> that will just be a nightmare. I, I, I almost wish it would happen, but I guess we'll have to see. That's, that was a big rumor. And I think he tried to do it, uh, back before he retired. Uh, oh, it Actually, I, I read that uh, him and Steve Jobs being friends were in talks to uh, to get that deal done before Steve Jobs uh, passed away. So Disney will be an Apple product soon. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see what what that does, what that means for the company. But uh, that's about all I got today. You uh, can definitely see that the woke strategy is hurting Disney. And this just might be exactly what's needed to wake some people up in upper management. You just can't rely on one small group of people, one minority, and uh, bow to every wish that they make. Because that minority is not the ones going to see your movies. And uh, even if they were, they're not going to give you enough money to to uh, survive. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button and share this video to all your friends out there. Please, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time.